Howdy. Wiz from DC Customs. Today we're going to talk about uh, basically doing a skull on the hood of this Jeep. We've already done the main body of the Jeep. We've done it in a candy apple red. We've done these ghost flames in here. Inside each one of these flames throughout the whole paint job, there are small skulls buried inside of it. We're going to do some of that on today on the hood. This Jeep basically starts out in a candy apple red, works into a black. But today what we're going to do is we're going to base based on what I'm going to do on the hood, we're going to do all the detailing in the skulls. We're going to do two large skulls in it. But eventually the hood will end up in a candy apple red to match up with this. And then uh, we've already done the fenders. We've taken them off. And what we're going to do with them is we'll rub them out. And then we'll rub the body of the Jeep out, fold everything back together, and the guy that owns this Jeep will have his uh, custom painted Jeep ready to go. What we've done is we've got base coated this hood in silver, which is the same base coat that's underneath the Jeep. It'll eventually be candy apple red, and I'll kind of explain that as I go here. What I've done is I've added some of the ghost flames through here. I've left these two areas on here, left and right, underneath where there's a hood scoop area for this Jeep, where he has a radiator cooler and also a transmission cooler through here. And we're going to put two skulls in here. We're going to do them basically to have a flamed edge around the side of the skull. What that's going to do is that's going to add kind of to the theme of it with the flames running back on the hood. So we're going to do the, the one skull here and a twin right over on the other side. I'm just going to take this and use this as a locating stencil. What I'm doing is I'm putting it right here. I'm going to kind of keep an even eye on underneath here. And what I'm going to do is just locate the eyes. And I don't want to basically go too heavy in here because I want to be able to freehand most of this in here. So the whole idea of this locating stencil is just to get the areas that I'm going to necessarily need to see where I'm working. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to be doing the other side, getting this based in here just like I did the right side. And like I told you, I'm not trying to get an exact duplicate or stencil look. I'm just doing using this as a locating stencil. I'm going to work around the nose and the eyes first, go down to the mouth, and then I'm going to work this, the flames off from the, the head. I'll be jumping back and forth sometimes on some stuff. So here we go. We're going to get the detail in. Now as I'm working on this, I constantly want to remember that as I'm working in here, I'm going to work uh, constantly work a flow going to the outside because what I want to do is I want to take this outside of the skull and work like flames off that area. I'm going down in here and actually detailing some of the teeth getting a little bit of decay, a little bit of cracks in the teeth. And I'm also bringing up the flames from the bottom here because I want to basically come from the front edge of this hood and create the illusion that the skull is coming right out of the flames. When we get done, most of this will blend in at so the candy apples over the top of it. It's going to blend in and make it look a lot deeper than what it is right now. But for right now, we're just basically adding in some of the shadows and some of the flamed areas to give it that 3D look. picked up now all the detail that I need to do on this one right now. I'm going to move over to the other side and do the other twin brother over there and try and get him all etched in. And then once I get that all detailed in, I'm going to go through and put some small skulls because that other paint, the other part of the paint job that's in the rest of the uh, Jeep actually has a uh, ton of little skulls all through the worked into the flames and I haven't done that to this hood yet. You'll see how I freehand them in as we go. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm going to add some of the smaller skulls into the flames throughout the whole job. So I'll be getting up off the stool here and then going through and adding them throughout the thing. And what I do normally on these is I just use the ideas of the flames themselves and then give the appearance 
that the skull is actually working right out of the flames. And then that way there, it takes on kind of a ghosting image or makes it look like it's basically just coming out. And I don't try to throw too much detail because I want these to kind of look ghosted in there. And once the candy apple gets on there, they actually go a little deeper. So I add just a minute detail to indicate that it's a skull. It's technically ready now with the exception of a few little wispy flames I'll be putting in there. Then it'll be ready for the candy apple red. We'll take it and basically put it in the booth and we're going to candy apple red it. After the red's dry, we'll clear coat it. Once it clear coats dry, I'll have to actually go back in and put a few more red flames of a different sort, not the candy apple style, to match up with the roll bar that's in this uh, vehicle. Once I do them, I'll re-clear it again and then we'll wet sand it and rub it out. And that'll be the next step. Stand in here. We're going to do the candy apple red over the top of what the silver we've done, and then uh, after we spray the candy apple, we're going to put two to three coats of candy apple over. We'll clear coat it after that. So I'm going to go in right now and start candy apple red. All right, what we've done is we've clear coated over the top of the candy apple. This is the second stage of the last part of the hood. Now what I still have to do is wet sand the hood. I'll put these red flames that are in the roll cage or in basically in the roll cage of the Jeep, which will be a different color red than the candy apple. Then we'll clear over the top of that and that'll be the final step and then we'll wet sand and rub out the entire Jeep, put it all back together and it'll be a done job. We cleared the hood, waited a day, and what we've done now is we've gone down and wet sanded this whole hood with 2000. Then I took basically a bulldog or basically uh, Avalon pads and smoothed this whole hood out. Then went three stages of compound, a heavy compound, a medium compound, and then I'm getting ready to do a fine compound, which will bring the shine up on this hood. We flattened everything out, taking all the dust out of it that we can, and everything on here now will basically be shinier than what it was on every stage from here on up. So, and then after we get done with the hood, we'll basically bolt all the attachments back on it, bolt it back up to the Jeep, which as you can see in the background here, we've taken and basically bolted up the fenders to it. Well, those are all in the first stage of the, or second stage of the rub out. First stage we did, second stage is all done. The last stage we'll do with everything put on it, We'll buff this all out and then we'll pull all the paper off it and then basically just start cleaning up the compound from around the edges and touching up any little small odds and end things. Um, we've decided to add some chrome bolts here and there to accent the candy apple off on, throughout the entire project. Uh, the owner decided to do that. Uh, first time around it wasn't, that wasn't the case, but since the paint job uh, is turning out like it is, he's decided to add chrome to it. So. That's what we've got done so far in the Jeep. Be aware, motorcycles are everywhere. Look twice, you just might save a life. Don't tailgate, share the road, better safe than sorry. So be aware, motorcycles are everywhere. Be aware, motorcycles are everywhere. Look twice, you just might save a life.